Hello everyone, and welcome to Final Fantasy IX, and I'm your elf here, Kohei, which will be doing this game, so let's get the start. So, new game. Now I won't be talking through all the cutscenes, so here we go. Ah, that was a nice cutscene. So, here we are. Um, so this is the main character here. He has a tail. A monkey tail! Oh yeah! Monkey tail for the win! So, when you start the game, what you should do is you should go up here and you can get uh, a potion and 47 go gil. Yeah, I, was, I said gold almost, but I said gil. You heard me. So, after you uh, do that, there's nothing else in this room, so just uh, light the candle, and the room will be enlightened. Now my fast forward doesn't work, so I won't be fast forwarding through any of the slow parts. Sorry about that, but uh, well, technically I still have the ability to fast forward, but I won't be fast forwarding. You guys can be fast forward, which is very, very mean. But anyway. So this is uh, the main character's name, Zidane. It's also pronounced Zidane by other people, but I'll say Zidane, 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 Zidane. Anyway, so confirm. Now we have three of his friends. Um, blank. I already know their names, so I'll wait. Um, there's Sina, the weakest member of the party. And the last guy's Marcus or something. No, it's Marcus. Holy crap! Dragon Base, dude! Hey, I got the Battle Swirl to work. Awesome! Sorry, when I first tested this, uh, I didn't know if the Battle Swirl, swirl would actually show. But I guess it does. Just a little loud for me, even though it's like one of my favorite uh, musics. So, uh, when you first start the battle, uh, I'll save state so that I don't lose any of this progress. Because, um, there's a point where you have to him have. Yeah, you have to him hard enough, I mean, low enough so that, uh. Yeah, he only hits 12. But if you hit him low enough, he will start to go into, um, easier stealing. And this is a group of thieves, so they all know how, uh, steal. Even Sinnoh, I think, but I didn't get a chance to look at his. Oh, that's too much. Okay, so I'll hit him once, and then save. Okay, here we go. So 
So after he's low enough, you should start stealing him as much as possible until you get Mage Master. Yeah, Mage Masher, which took me hours upon hours to get. Um, I don't know if that's how stealing works, but I do it anyway. For some reason, it works every single time I try it. So, uh, he has one more item. I'm gonna try to get that from him. I don't know if I stole. Hey, there it is. The wrist. Okay. So after you get all three items, the potion, the mage master, and the wrist, which I don't know how I got the mage master first and had trouble with the wrist, you should just attack him. And there we go. Who's this? Um... As you may remember, they were talking about, where's boss? Well, that's their boss, this big guy. He's actually the strongest one in the party, seeing that he killed Sina in one shot. Ugh, weakest party member ever. So, their boss's name is Baku, and he has this weird hat thing. I think he's a bat. I can't tell though. Yeah, he also says gua ha ha ba ha 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 and things like that. It's like his catchphrase thing. Ooh. I wonder what they're gonna be discussing about. Oh, that's a nice little model thing on the table. Wow, that's extra- who in the world made that? Actually, it could have been a store owner. Okay, Alexandria. And we're gonna kidnap the princess. Pretty simple, right? Oh my god, that is ex like almost exactly like the ship. These people have great artistic style. It's like they stole that from the actual game producer. <laughs> yeah, they broke into Squaresoft and stole all their toy models. Um. Yeah, well, if it's the most popular, wouldn't it be just a little tedious to watch? It's like, ugh, this play again? Why can't they come up with something better? Oh well, so. Uh, okay, so me and Blank. Blank is the dude that's blind for some reason, but he has the most awesome clothing and stuff, and yeah. Okay, now, this is like my favorite part of the game, because, oh, beginning of the game anyway. Um... What am I supposed to do again? Oh right! I'm supposed to kidnap the Queen Fawn! No you- <laughs> Uh, here, I'll actually do that again. You bet! You're gonna kidnap the fast, but ugly, Queen- Dang it. Queen Ver- Wait. What am I saying? Now if you keep saying it, he'll actually- Uh. There we go. Alright, quit joking around. And if you actually just say Princess Garnett... And that's what happens. I mean, he'll still say the same thing. Eh, I might as well talk through the rest of the cutscenes. I mean, it's pretty much the end of the beginning. Really. I mean, it's still the first part of my LP, but... So, here we see. My favorite... Let me think. Yeah, he's my favorite character. He's my favorite character in all of Final Fantasy. And, uh... He's extremely fun. He has, like, one of the best characters I can think of, and... I just love his outfit, and... How he looks. So, we're in the... Kingdom of Alexandria. Man, that is so pretty. Oh, this is like the best transition I can think of. Why couldn't they do this for some of the Final Fantasy games? Like Final Fantasy XII? Blah. The game kind of... Well, I kind of like the intros, but that's pretty much it. Anyway, so... 
Yeah. Um, come on, game. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. <laughs> I love Nobu Uematsu and it came to uh, uh, getting all the music to this game. Actually, one of my favorite Final Fantasy music of all time is actually in this game. Uh, what a cute little girl. And there she goes. So, after all of that and tripping around, you can finally move around! Now, who are you controlling? Well, it doesn't say, so I won't say yet. Now, if you go over to the left first, you can get some items. Like you get a potion. Now, if you go south... Uh, let me think. There should be an item down here. Cause oh, there it is. A zombie card! I'll talk about cards very soon. But, um... Let's go over here. Hey! So, at the store, there's another card. And... I don't even have to scale the wall because I remember this. Right behind this statue, as you can see, if you go up, all the way up to the top, you'll see an error I am. This sign gives you the l and this gives you the lizard man card. Some of these cards are valuable, some of them are just useless. So after that, if you go into ow. Alright. Um this rat kid, you cannot dodge this guy, okay? He will trip you up no matter what. I actually tried running around in circles and he still kept chasing me. I was like, what the son of a god damn Anyway. So under this bed in the corner here, you'll get nine gil from Grandma's Secret Stash. Ooh, Tapestry. Let's look up. Uh ugh. Okay, that was a bad idea. This woman has no idea what the heck you're doing in her house. It's like any other RPG where you can go into everyone's houses and steal all their belongings. Let's go out these uh this ladder here. Now the graphics of this game are extremely superb to the other PS1 games that came out on this. Like for instance, there was Final Fantasy VII, I already LP'd, and um that was it didn't have hands. They had club hands. And as you can see also, uh his movement actually looks like he's actually moving at the same s I mean, his legs are moving at the same speed he is. So, anyway. Um, I can't remember, bleh, remember all the other items, so... Let's see what's here. Ooh, a potion. Oh, wait, I think I remember a few. Like, for instance, there was one... Oh, hello. Is that guy a bird? Oh yeah, that's another thing about this game. Um, what happens is pretty much the characters are animals. Like for instance, you can see that hip hippopotamus over here, and if you talk to him, his name is Hippo. No pun, in actually pun intended. What am I saying? <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh, a goblin card. That's not gonna be useful. Let's try this side. Okay. Well, inside here is the inn, or tavern, or otherwise known as the place where everyone gets drunk. Oh yeah! Drunkness. Ooh, a flan. That's actually very good. 27 gil? Hmm. Now this lady is named M Maggie, and she's just there for now. And hey, it's a male red mage. In other games, red mages actually have the ability to fight like us. Normal fire, but still pretty weak. Like, they're half the fire. And they also can cast white and red. I mean, yeah, there's red magic, I forgot about that. Uh, there's white magic, there's black magic. And in our, there are, in our games that actually have the red mage, there's, uh, red magic. And, um, they are allowed to pretty much use anything. But, yeah. Let's just continue here. So, nothing else in this place. And we hit the 15 minute mark, okay. So, uh... Ah, hmm, hmm. Oh, jeez, I can't stop humming to that. Uh, yeah. So, see you next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII!